My name is Elizabeth, I'm a medical student and an artist living in London and I wanted to share my exact method for teaching myself to read at three times the speed. According to Google, the average reading speed is around 300 words per minute and I can now comfortably read at 900 words per minute. You would be very right in asking yourself what would possess me to do such a thing, so I just wanted to explain my reasoning behind doing this. As a medical student, I am always taking exams, which are usually under strict time constraints, so the faster I can read, the chances are the better I will perform in these exams. And secondly, I really love books. And although I absolutely do not use speed reading for any books that I read for entertainment, I also like non-fiction and I find that non-fiction authors kind of bash me on the head with so many descriptive examples and fluff that a huge part of the book is a bit pointless to read but I have a huge fear of FOMO when it comes to books, so on the other hand, I want to read the whole thing, so I'm left in a situation where the faster I can blitz through the non-important parts, the better for me. And the third reason is I've been kind of obsessed with being a speed reader my whole life, and I guess when I was younger, I thought it would make me popular in school to be the fastest reader, but as an adult, it doesn't really make me any extra friends, but it does allow me to read most books in somewhere between one and two hours. So if this is a skill that you are also interested in having, this video might be helpful for you. Now, now, I have tried many, many things when it comes to teaching myself to speed read. Everything from following with my finger, to trying to silence the reading voice in my head, to trying to dart my eyes only in the middle of the text and not the sides. I've tried all these various things which have helped, but nothing, absolutely nothing, has supercharged my reading speed as much as Speechify. I am very grateful to the producers of this app who I think quite unintentionally have created the best mechanism for learning to speed read. Before that, just a tiny little preface that one, this process is absolutely no fun. There is no pleasure in reading this way. Number two, it does take a lot of work. It's weeks or even months of dedication to get yourself to significantly increase your reading speed. And number three, it will sound so shocking at first. I remember when I thought only heathens listen to YouTube at 1.25 speed, and now I listen to it at 3.5 or 4 speed. So I remember what it sounded like and I apologize in advance. Finally, after all that, let's get into the method itself. So I have downloaded Speechify on my phone already. Usually when I read books, I use my phone to do this. And I'll just open the Speechify app. I already have a video where I explain how to upload a book, so I'll link that down below. But for this example, I will be using Ego is the Enemy by Ryan Holiday, which is a wonderful book to read and a very good example for this, because my very first tip would be in the choice of book. I would recommend that you use a kind of non-fiction-ish, psychology, self-help-ish book to get yourself to read faster. And the reason for this is if you pick something like Principles of Cardiology, this is a book that we would read slower than usual in any case. It would be very difficult to speed read something like that. I would pick something descriptive. I've uploaded the book and the app tells me how much time it will take for me to read it. And at my speed now, it will take just over an hour. So, before we get started, actually, let me show you what it sounds like at 900 speed. Okay, it sounds horrific. I'm really, really sorry. Um, it's traumatizing in the beginning. I get that. Step number one, we've uploaded the book. Step number two is setting the speed. I would recommend that you set it initially to an average reading speed, which according to Google is apparently 300. So let me just do that. And now let's see what that sounds like. Good. His life has much difficulty and sadness and remains far behind yours, were it otherwise- Yep, that sounds a bit more acceptable and normal. So now what I will do is press the automatic button on the bottom right hand corner of the screen. And what this will do is that it will very subtly ramp up the speed while you are reading. You won't even notice that it's going faster and faster, and this is very important. So you turn automatic on and you let Speechify read to you. You want to continue doing this until it starts to sound very, very painful. So let's say that around 600 you are finding Speechify hard to follow. My step here would be to pause the app, turn automatic back off, and this will keep your speed at 600 words per minute. And this is where the work and the challenge begins. Remove the speed from the screen, press play, and just listen to it read. This is the part that I warned would be very, very painful. It takes a lot more energy and focus than we are usually used to paying reading when you are at a high and uncomfortable speed. So this will be not fun, 
but if you bear with it for as long as you can, if you would like to take a break, take a break, please do so. Like I said, it will take a long time. So I would recommend keeping it there for a few days or weeks or however long it takes for you to become comfortable. Now, what is very important during this stage is to keep both your eyes on the screen and the volume up. Preferably, I would use earphones because it sounds a lot clearer and it's a lot less annoying for everyone else. I would always, always look at the screen. This is the only way this works. If I would have 900 playing on the side and not looking at the screen, I'm not following anything almost. It's too fast. I really don't have superhuman listening skills. It's just the fact that I've trained my eyes because I find my eyes can be a lot better trained than my ears. So my personal theory is that the whole trick is in the eyes. So I would always, always keep my eyes on the screen. So once you find it comfortable again, I would go back up to the speed and press automatic, press K and wait for it to get painful again. Pause, rinse and repeat as necessary and you can get yourself trained to basically go at any reading speed that you have ever dreamed of. Just for reference here, I started at around 700 when I first downloaded the app and it took me about two months of using Speechify every single day to get to 900 and now 900 feels too slow most of the time. So it's definitely something that you can train and I would greatly recommend having this skill in your back pocket. Also, there are other side effects to being able to do this. Now, for example, I listen to podcasts at three times the speed, I watch YouTube videos at 3.5 or four times the speed, and I can even read normal books when I want to without Speechify very, very fast. Although this skill is a bit questionable, I don't think I'm as good at that. I would definitely recommend Speechify not only as your training wheels to be a speed reader, but also as a secret weapon. Because if you get yourself to those high speeds and you basically have a library of books that you can blitz through at one or two hours each, it's honestly game changing. So I'm going to stop selling this app as though it was mine now. I hope you found this video helpful at all. If you have other tricks for speed reading, please let me know. And as always, if you made it so far, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Be kind to yourself and others and don't believe everything you think. Thanks. Bye.